Hi everybody, I'm Captain Floofers, and this is my brother. Talon Nerevar. Talon Nerevar. One and only. We're gonna go for this. We are fucking pissed drunk. And we're gonna do a, um... I think it was like a... Review Transformers and drink. Yeah. Um, Sounds about right. We're Sounds gonna right. do a... What's the word I'm thinking of? We're, we are already drunk from being out at bars all yeah. night, and um, we're going to be doing a... Uh, I don't know, you explained it so eloquently earlier, and I just can't remember exactly what I'm you sure, said. I'm sure I did. <laughs> so we're going to be, we're going to be doing a... Uh, I'm sure I'm thinking, I'm going to think of the word. Some kind of parallel to Ten Shots and Bots. Something close to that. I'm, I'm sure I've already taken ten, ten shots worth of liquor, but... Uh, close to it. But Talon here is mm -hmm. going to pull a... We're... Is going to pull a uh, Transformer off the shelf, and I'm going to do my best to review it. And we're going to try to do this ten times, but who knows how many we'll get through. Well, attempt full transformations, but uh, nothing guaranteed. Nothing so. guaranteed. <laughs> Alrighty, so shall so we start with the first one? Yes. Um... Pick something. Here we go. There, I've already shown him what to pick from. I'll start you off easy. Um, here with this one right here. I don't know why. Okay. I don't even know the name of that one. This is. Um, I'm fairly sure that some of these will are, have already shown up on past videos. I don't fucking care. This is Generations Throne Thirty RC. Um. RC is one of the first female Transformers, for those of you who care about that. And um, I picked it up because I like the characters from uh, from the third uh, season of the original Transformers cartoon. And thus, I like RC. So, yeah. So I'm going to try to transform RC. It's very good robot mode. Um, all of the... That's actually one of the reasons why I picked that one, just right off the bat, looking at it. There's a lot of detail in the actual character itself. Yeah. And it's actually, like, a proper robot mode. Like, it's really well put together, and I would love to see what it looks like transformed into its actual, like, automobile mode, but I haven't yeah. seen it yet, so... The thing is, like, we're about to attempt this, so, uh, let's, uh, let's get her done. Unfortunately for RC, there isn't really much, mo much to go with this robot mode. It's kind of a shell former. Um, which means that, uh, most of the robot mode is kind of a shell that goes around her. I'll say, so you kind of, like, fold up the bottom bits and then the shell goes around it to actually give it some form. Exactly. Transfer mode. Okay. Um, I'm trying my best to do this. We have come back from home, uh... we come back to home. We've come back to home. After a night of... Uh, yes. And revelry. I, I'm going After to a successful day, put it which that turned way. out to be a horrible day. That's another story. That's another but, story. I'm not going to get into at this point. But has turned into a victorious day, and therefore revelry. Oh, fucking goddamn it. And there's also a cat here. There's the cat right um, right behind me. Ah, she's fine. Getting um, seen on the camera. So, I, as far as I can remember, she was a bit of a shell former. If I can get this to work, I think I can get it to work as properly as I can. This is more or less. I mean, this is one of the ones I covered in my third Ten Shots and Bots video. But I'm more drunk than I was then. He can attest to that. No. It's my fault. It's his fault. I'm going to blame all... There's a long story with it. I'm not going to get into that now, but... <laughs> fucking goddamn it. If I can just get this to... You know what? Fuck, this is the closest I'm going to get. It's a car. Ish. Ish. Yeah, more of a shell former. Yeah, it, it's, it's more prime in its actual robot form than it is in the actual vehicle form. Yeah, I'm going to just leave it at that. I'm sorry for those who like who are fans of RC, but if you want a more two. if you want a more proper um, representation of what RC should be, I'm fairly sure in the last 
10 shots, 10 bots of video I did, that uh, RC was done properly, then that's a thing. But um, for now, that's what I'm going to leave it at. So moving on. Moving on to the next one. Moving on. Number two. Number two. Well, righty. Number two. Number two. And there are some, like, Earthrise, for, like, figures and whatnot that I've gotten in the meantime. So now I'm actually looking at him wondering which ones are he's just, pots and which are He's just not. picking from what I have on... Because I've, I've, like, moved... I have no idea what this is, but, uh... Oh, this is Blue Streak. This okay. is Earth... No, not Earthrise. Siege Blue Streak. This is actually a really good one. This actually has, um... Third-party parts put on it? For, like, the... the third-party parts? Yeah, there's a, uh... A, um... A third-party website called uh, toyhacks.com, and they usually do um, stickers and whatnot. But they actually have three printed parts that are on the shoulders right here. Okay, so like, the guns that are sitting on the shoulders are actually like three printed for that particular bot, just to kind of give it a little, a little more level. Yeah, normally the uh, there, there's some guns that would have fit in here, but I have those like put in up like a ziploc bag. Parts are better because these are better. But I'm going to try to see if I can put him in car mode now. Got it. Yeah. <laughs> Extra hand. For those of you... are 3 d printed. Holy crap. Yeah. For those of you who are keeping score here, this is the first time that um, good old Talon has been here on camera. Yep. And um, we just came back from a... Uh, Night of debauchery. Yeah. And revelry. We're gonna we're gonna keep it at we're that. We're just gonna keep it at that. <laughs> <laughs> we just went to a bar. Yeah. Well, you know. It happens. Oh, God. I'm fairly sure I'm better at this than the Okay. But those are the only like 3D printed I mean the, the gun is part of it, but it looks like it does because the actual 3D printed parts are you can tell they're 3D printed. Just from kind of looking at it just on the finishing quality. But the detail quality is a bit more intense than it is actually on the gun. It's actually quite nice. So good job to whoever made these parts. Hasbro. Well, I mean, who, well, not the, Hasbro, the people. Three D printing. The, P, the P printed three D printing was to toyhacks.com. Toyhacks.com. Props to you. Looks nice. I like the color in it too. Yeah, there were other um, gun parts that kind of came with it that kind of kind of went in those. Positions, but um, those look more the part than. So it was a multitude of parts that they sent you, and it was kind of like they could choose which ones you think best look with. I like guess kinda. Kind of thing. Just kind of sent you a myriad of things. No, they they sent me those. Oh, okay. So, but, so um, but there were other parts available. There were other parts that were that actually came with the figure. And those look better than the ones that would have gone in the same. See, now it looks to me like this one's a lot easier to actually put in the car mode. So yeah. I'm doing a pretty good job of actually picking out the easy ones. <laughs> Except for the first one, apparently. Well, you know. I, I thought I would have got done a better job with RC than I did. I apologize, uh, I apologize for any RC fans out there. I'm an RC fan, of, to some extent. But this is... At least as far as I can make it, Blue Streak. Yeah, I think got him in his his car form fairly well. It's supposed to be like the original toy. The original toy was supposed to be like a a, a Nissan Fair Lady. Kind of looks like a Nissan Fair Lady. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, like an old 240 or two uh, 280Z. Yeah. 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 I mean, this is from the headlights and everything. This is supposed to be like his Cybertronian form, but um, this is this is Siege um, Blue Streak, not like Earthrise Blue Streak. Yeah, I got it in his in his car. All right, so moving on to number three. Number three. Number Let's three. do number three. Let me put those over here. All right. I still apologize to any RC fans because yeah, well, you know. I don't think I did RC any justice. Alcohol is a hell of a drug. To do. I'm presuming this is Star Streak. Star Streak? Maybe. Star Streak? Star this... Stream? I don't know. No, this is Cyclonus. 
Cyclonus. Okay. This is Henke Cyclonus, um, based off, well, kind of based off of the universe Cyclonus. Um, I'm recording. Yes, I am. Yes. Okay. So, um, Cyclonus is a character from. <laughs> you just dropped. No, I got it right here. Ah, okay. Okay, so. Cyclonus is a character from season three, who was like kind of like the second in command of Megatron or Galvatron at the time. Um, I remember going out uh, around this, uh, going around uh, Cyclonus in my first, very, very, very first uh, ten shots in the first this year it was the first one that Greg picked out. So I'm picking out all the ones that you've already done. Well, we're most, giving it a second shot. We we are just doing this off the you know just on the fly. Slightly more tough. Yeah. And it's still going up on the internet. But this is one that I'm more familiar with, so I'm fairly sure I can come up with the. Uh... One second. We have cats now. Yep, they're my cats. Don't worry about them. <laughs> they are small creatures of the earth. Yeah, and they do as they wish. Unfortunately. Indeed. And they don't listen. They don't but, listen. Know, they, do, cats, they don't listen, but... Cats. You know, there's only so much that you can do... With cats. Hold on. This. Now, what does he transform into? I'm presuming it's some form of airplane. It's like a spaceship airplane thing. This was, like, in Gen... Th oh, not, I, I want to say Gen 3, but it was Season 3 of Gen 1. And it was like more of a spaceship airplane thing than anything. This was one of the ones that was in the original movie. Don't worry, a lot of this is going to be edited out. A lot of the mm -hmm. transformation. I say keep it. It's more entertaining that way. Get to see the. I don't think so. Actually, sitting there drinkingly trying to. I don't. I don't. Not toys at two o'clock in the morning. I don't think so. <laughs> what, what time is it? Uh, close to three. If not past three. Hold on a second. Hold on, this seems to actually go back here. It is almost three by one minute. Oh. Yeah. That's a thing. Okay. Well, I think I got it. All right. So, there's one last little piece to click into. There's a couple of them. Because. Yeah, close enough. All right, so this is, yeah, this is it. This is Cyclonus in his alt mode, but he also came with a Extra little gun. gun guy. Extra gun. A target master. Target master. Target master was like a guy that could turn into a gun. And then he attaches to him. Yeah, he could attach to him. Firepower. But okay. this is what the target okay. last looked like. I think his name was Nightstick. This is what he looked like. It's a weird name for a guy named after a gun. Yeah, this is what he looked like. I think we're good with the with with Cyclonus here. Cyclonus okay. is good. So that means that we're moving on to uh... Numero Quattro. Numero Fourth. Yes, yes, that's the one. All right. Just make sure the cat doesn't dig into my fucking. Yeah, well, you know, she's already done it to my cheat. So. Oh. It's not. Should I give you a challenge? Got something a little bit bigger here. I got an Optimus Prime here. That's not Optimus Prime. How's that not Optimus Prime? That is not like Optimus Prime. It is almost like Optimus Prime. This is okay. This is another one I've 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 um, talked about before. This is um, Siege Ultra Magnus. This is actually my. Wait 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 hold on. The ears of the ignorant. Yes. Who the hell is Ultra Magnus? So, okay. So the Transformers cartoon went through two seasons, and then there was the movie. Okay. And the movie basically dictated who was in season three. Mm -hmm. uh, and then there was like a season four with headmasters and whatnot. Was that the movie that was with um, what's his name, Spock? Yeah, yeah, Leonard, Leonard Nimoy. Nimoy. Yes. Yeah. Um, Ultra Magnus was in that movie, and he was played by Robert Stack, the guy from uh, Unsolved Mysteries. 
No, really? Really? Oh god, I love his voice. Yes. And Ultra Magnus is legit my favorite Transformer. Well, good thing I picked that one first. Yeah, or... this was... <laughs> This was um, this was one of the ones in um, Ten Shots. This is Siege Ultra Magnus, by the way. Why did I keep picking the ones from the videos that you've done before? It's almost Be like honestly, it's because there weren't too many I had gotten in the meantime. Mm -hmm. But this is uh, this is what this is actually the one where um, I had gotten so drunk that I couldn't finish his transformation and had. Uh, Basically, I, w I don't want to say passed out, but I, um... You passed out on one of these videos? No. Is there literally, like, two hours of unedited time that still exists of you just, like... No, no, there isn't. The video camera? There is not. Oh, if there was, I want to see it. There is not, but this is one of the, this is the one where I had basically called it quits on that one video, and then come back like the next morning, and so, said, "Okay, we're gonna do." And this. said, "Here, here down. is the we're um, gonna get it done. We're gonna make sure it's transformed properly, reviewed properly, and gone from there." Well, I'm actually gonna transform him as far as much as I can on camera this time. Well, I mean, we're already three out of three, so. Might as well make a four out of four. Well, RC was kind of a lost cause, but... It was close enough. It was close, it was close enough. enough. I'll call it three out of three. The only, uh... Like, regret is that I'm gonna have to, like... Put all these up on my shelf again. Eh, do it tomorrow when you're sober. Yeah, do it tomorrow when I'm sober. Okay, so this is uh, basically Ultra Magnus is always, almost, almost always like a recolor, recolor of Optimus Prime. That's why I thought it was Optimus Prime. So the first time I actually looked at the bot itself, I thought to myself, "It, just, it looks just like Optimus Prime." <laughs> this is like it's Ultra Magnus. No, this is so. like the first one where like Ultra Magnus came before Ultima, Optimus Prime. Got it. But I'm gonna have to like make the trailer. So this is gonna be a thing. That figure is way more in depth than I thought it was. I just kind of looked at the top end of oh yeah of Radar yourself here or Captain, Captain Floofer's now Captain Floofer's shelf and I, I looked at it and it was just like <laughs> what's one of the big complicated ones that gonna try his brain on really hard considering how much alcohol he's had tonight and I looked at that one and went Optimus Prime <laughs> fuck um, you I still think he's Radar Goji <laughs> I haven't been Radar Goji in months. This is true. <laughs> I mean... That just shows how much he's watched my videos up to this point. Hey, Deadly Premonition was a great series. You shut up. It was. It was. It, it was. was. Go back and watch it. Go back and watch Deadly Premonition. Yes. That was actually and really not crazy. me putting together <laughs> fucking Ultra Ma Siege Magnus. Siege Ultra Magnus. At past 3 o'clock in the morning now. <laughs> While drinking way too much whiskey. Mm. To be, f it was I, I had called for a lot at the bar. Were you about to make a letter kidding reference? To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be fair. To be, fair. To be fair. There it is. For all you watching at home. Lord, I picked like the worst bot ever, no. didn't I? No. I gotta remember that when I pick the next largest one above it. <sighs> Stay tuned, kids. I can get for this. bot number Just five. Just believe in me. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, it's gonna be big. Oh, God damn it. How did this go? Okay, these went. So while you wrestle with that, I'll be right back, because I need one whiskey! Just as a PSA, part of, the, part of this is gonna be edited out for quality assurance. Quality assurance? Yeah. For quality assurance. Well, quality insurance. Actually, I should. I feel like I should have like a blooper reel. So the quality. Assurance I can make is no. I can make no uh, uh, guarantees as to what my sober self. I will, I, will, oh. I mean, I'll keep that. Mm-hmm. Fucking goddamn. I'll blooper reel. Blooper reel. <laughs> How did this go? By the way, if anybody here is 
watching one of Captain Fluber's videos and is also a Scotch whiskey fan. Jura Tenure does great with Coca-Cola. Just saying. And before you try to sue me for mixing Coca-Cola with a good single bottle Scotch whiskey, the best kind of whiskey is the whiskey you like to drink the way you like to drink it. It's a whiskey tribe reference. If anyone gets it. I'll allow it. I'll allow it. It is whiskey tribe reference. It's actually a group that I'm part of on Facebook. Uh, Honestly, guys on uh, YouTube that do whiskey reviews. Look, there is supposed to be like a whole fucking trailer that goes with this shit. Apparently, yes. All of this shit is supposed to make a trailer, but I don't feel like it. I've done it on video before. Ultra Magnus has been on on uh, Ten Shots Ten Bots Three. As I drop shit. As we're working on, um... Look. Actually, no, it wasn't Numero Foam. It was Number of Fear. That was the last one. This one is, is number... Fear, is Fear 5? Is Foam Fist 5, Fear is 4. Okay, so... I messed up, even though I took a high school. I should know Technically, that. I've had 1, 2, and 3, and also... Five. Uh, uh, and also... Number uh, five. Shots, Bots, and Mavericks. Which was the one that I did where I played Mega Man X8 in between. Ooh, so cool. technically I had four. But this is what Elder Magnus looks as in his tra his truck form. Uh, minus the trailer. I don't I don't have the I don't have the The trailer was drunkenly and frustratingly thrown to the ground. Yes, we're So now we're gonna pick one even more complicated. Yes. Pick one more, please. I'm gonna move on. I don't wanna waste your time. I don't wanna waste my time. I don't wanna waste his time. Yeah, I got the whole time of the day. Number five. God, I Let's really go. Let's go. Um, yeah. I'll figure all this out when I'm awake and sober. Oh, God. Oh, fight. <laughs> cup you drawn. So the foreshadowing was real. Um, it is a thing, and I really do hope he edits in the fact that I said, I am looking up at Captain Fluffer's <laughs> shelf right now, watching the frustration on his okay. face as he's attempting to build the trailer for Ultra Magnus. And. He did copy draw. I forgot I had him in his combined robot form. Okay. So I'm gonna... uh, okay, hold on. Before. This Before we get to that, I I am not a huge Transformers fan, or a Transformers fan to begin with. Indeed. To understand Indeed. who the hell Computron is. Computron? But, hold on. It is one, two, three, four, five, six robots? With this Computron, technically seven. Let's see, that's what I know. But. I'm going to hand it off to the master here. Honestly, I know Computron more than I know Ultra Magnus. So, I'm going to take this part off. So, I might have attempted to screw him over, but that might have backfired. One. It's a thing. Cybex. Vehicle form. You oh, that doesn't count. Yes, it does. It's a tiny little thing. Robot form. Cybex. I now have done a. I just made it easy for him. I okay, have done a video on Computron before, the, the uh, Combiner Wars Computron. Sci. uh. fucking goddamn. Scrounge. It's a flying alt, saucer. Alt mode. It's a flying saucer. Yeah. And now I'm See, only thinking about the golden saucer from Final Fantasy XIV now. Senor. Sabatender. He I has chased him down. Literally, the first time I ever been to that zone, I chased him down for about fifteen. Years. He hasn't played Final Fantasy VII, so no, fourteen. Fourteen. Well, I'm playing it now, but the better Gold Saucer. Anyway, this is Scrounge in his robot form. That was easy. Yeah. Now we get to. I need to get you an easy button. <laughs> that was easy. We had that when I worked at uh, grocery store. Um, so the main five that were actually in the show. I'm gonna take this off. So the other two are not from the actual show itself. 
No, they were from the comics in oh, some way, okay, shape, or form. Okay. So that's why they kind of added it in because this one is based more off the comics. So I take this. I take this. Uh, that's just a, a gun. I'm, it's a firearm. Yes. A very large firearm. A very large hand. Don't know what's in. Concentrate. Focus. Don't disconnect any limbs. Disconnected anyway. I thought that's where you already did with the gun here. <laughs> His hand is kind of attached, so I think there's a little bit of dislocation going on here. Well, if I can get this properly out and the way it needs to be, this is Afterburner. I've heard that name before. For those who um, refresh my memory. For those of you who have memory, kept yeah. up with my videos, I've already done a video on Computron. This is the best I can do with Afterburner for now. That's his robot form. But he also turns into a motorcycle? Looks like a motorcycle or a tricycle of some sort. Something very narrow that goes very fast down the road. That's all I can really tell just from looking at the robot itself. I can tell that. Uh, oh yeah, no, Talon, it's definitely a, it's definitely a motorcycle. Talon, you just turn the wheels, you can turn the feet around, and now it's. Fun. All I can tell is that Talon is having a blast with this. Oh, I am having so much fun. I have yes. No idea. And that See, is now the whole story behind this is is that I took shit. my brother out. He had a kind of a rough day, so I said, you know what, just go out, go out and drink. You know, kind of get the juices flowing, kind of get loose, kind of get. Rid of all the terrible things that have happened. And he's like, you know what? I'll have one more. The but only this has not happened. If you make a uh, make a Transformers video with me, all drunk. I said, you know what? That sounds like a grand old plan. Let's do it. And here we are. Snapping more limbs off. That I've snapped more limbs off than I planned to. That's what she said. Is it? Is it really what she said? Okay, maybe not. That doesn't <laughs> sound like anything that she would have said in any context. Well, you never know. But, you know, just not going too far out of my way to make yeah, anything happen. I mean, I'll keep it in, but... <laughs> blooper reel! <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, you don't know the, the kind of blooper reels we have with this. This is Afterburner's... At least as far as I can get with Afterburner's vehicle mode. With the state that I'm in. Seems legit. Seems legit. Looks like a motorcycle. Yeah. So I guess it, it's a motorcycle. Yeah. Afterburner. I figured it was like a weird tricycle thing and then he like moved the legs oh. around. Oh yeah. And the wheel came together as one. So at that point it just... Next up. Uh, other arm. This is uh... See now here's a real question. Ten shots, ten bots. Does this count as seven bots? I don't Just one. No, this counts as this. You picked out Computron. I'm so counting this, this one. This counts as one. Whoops, motherfucker. That's what I did to you. That is. That's what I did to you. That is your mistake. This is. I've always been the troublesome brother. I'm, I'm sure. Doing everything I can to try to make this guy work and sweat. And now you're paying for it in spades. Oh, I'm having a great time with this. I don't know about you. <laughs> I mean, I'm a, I'm having fun. Ish. No, I'm having fun. That his brain's racked right now. He's absolutely frying. I don't know if the camera is picking it up right now, but you cannot pick up the steam coming out of his ears right now. It's just like a like complete and total Look, nuclear I'm meltdown. Just, I'm just going to go with what I can with this. That's what I did at Chernobyl, too. I'm just going to... Do what I can, and then let my future self deal with the aftermath. <laughs> Wake up in the morning. Why are there so many toys on the ground? <laughs> <laughs> I'll put them back where they need to be. Oh, oh that's I'm, gonna stay in. I am Captain Floofers. He is Captain Floofers. Um, Transformers Master. This is Strafe. <laughs> the drunken master. Of this is Strafe in his oh damn rope in his alt mode. I should say. That's cool. Alright. 
Moving on with next, Computron. Next part of Computron is going to be no. So what's the next biggest one up there? God damn you. No, I'm not going to do that. Don't I'm do not another. Do that to him. I'm no not more do that combiners. To him. Do okay, not no, pick. No, I'm not doing Do not pick combiner. Bruticus. I could. But you wouldn't. Because I'm an asshole. But I'm not going to. Okay, so here's Nose Cone. Because I'm a nice guy, occasionally. So, there you go. Nose Cone in his God alt mode. damn, what the hell, man? Why well, can't just go from, like, limb to, no to alt he mode? He literally just went, here's Nose Cone. Here's, I can do his alt mode, or his robot mode, too. No, it literally took, like, ten seconds. That so that was the easy part. That was the easy That's part. The part. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, clap, clap. As a cat walks back in, clap, clap. Go away, cat. Go no away. kid, no singing. So I was This is nose cone. See, I feel bad now. You're kind of struggling with it. When you do, literally just went clap, 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 this, bang. This and is here's for, nose cone. <laughs> this is for <laughs> this is for the internet's. Um, this is for posterity's sake. Yes. We're gonna do the other transformation too. Nose cone. It actually robot really didn't mode. take him that long compared to the last couple ones. Apparently that's the easy one. Let's see what the next one does. What's the next one? Well the next one is light speed. The other leg. That should yes. be pretty easy too. I can tell just by looking at it. It's pretty easy. It is alt mode. A car. Yep, it's pretty easy. Damn. And alt mode. Well, the thing with these combiners. There's also the. Um, so you have the combiner mode, you have the alt mode, which is like the vehicle, and then you have the actual robot mode on top of that. Yeah. Hmm. Because the thing is with. I'll get to Scattershot later. But, um. <laughs> for those of you who don't tell, who can't tell, he kind of fell on the ground. The clacking sound against the glass of whiskey. Um. Coke. With, um. <laughs> The arms, they're kind of formed from the robot mode. The legs, they're kind of formed from the alt mode. It's kind of a reverse of where it's supposed to be. So it's like his butt is the transfer point into the leg. Maybe. The I'm going to go with that. Because that makes most sense to me with what you just said. But guess we'll roll with that. I it's, don't know. It's easier to transfer from the alt mode than the, um... Look, all I know is that you you do, you do agreed to do this with me. Of course I did. And I... It's my uh, brother, I love him. I 100% appreciate this. The fact that we could do some drunken videos. Stay tuned for more drunken videos. Are we still online to do Hyrule Warriors? I mean, it depends Maybe on what... Maybe that's a little bit of foreshadowing <laughs> there for the people back in Facebook. <laughs> hey, a little bit of uh, Hyrule's action. Hyrule Warrior's action. Anyway, here's light oh, speed in his robot mode. Oh! Hey, there it is. I am the master. And we got one more after that. Okay, so here's the rest of Computron. This is just his body, but I can turn him into Scattershot in both his robot mode and his... Alt mode. I think the Hopefully. robot mode is relatively easy just based on how it's kind of set. A couple things to lift up here, a couple things to move around. Shouldn't be too complicated. Now, alt mode is going to look like it's going to be a little bit more involved. All I know is that I'm going to be... I have no idea what he's supposed to be, but I think it might be a tank of some sort. No. Okay. I am definitely wrong at that. I am... All I can tell is that I'm going to be mad at myself in the morning. Why? Because you have to transform him back. Because I gotta transform him back and put him go back on, the shelf on my somehow, fucking man. shelf. He's gotta, he's gotta go back on the shelf somehow. Why is yeah it... transform into the full combination of all of Computron okay. all at once? It's just you picked Computron. I'm blaming this on you. Hey, and there was foreshadowing. There was foreshadowing. The people over here watching you and YouTube knew that I was going to pick the biggest thing that you had on your shelf. You did. I foreshadowed. This is that. your fault. It's not their fault. They for my fault. Yes. It's totally my fault. It's somebody else's fault but mine, and I'm okay with that. Asshole. I'm okay with that. 
Actually, you're having a better time transforming this one than you have with a couple of the other ones. So. But then again, like you said, you've already done a video on it. Yes. Check back into the YouTube. Yes. Go back into the uh, Do subscriber a quick, level. Subscribe, yeah. comment, yes. do all your things. Yeah. Uh, yeah you know. Check out my Computron or my... my or his, com what uh, was it, a 10 bots, 10 shots video? No, it wasn't even a 10 shots, 10 bots video. I did a... Uh, a what is it? Um, Just a drunken review of Computron? No, this wasn't even a drunken review. Oh, it was a regular solid, review. Okay, a solid, solid review. Kind of solid review. Of the Technobots, the Combiner Wars okay. Technobots. Here is Scattershot in his robot mode. I'm not even gonna. I'm not even gonna bother with this. So now, um, alt mode. It's a big plane. That's all you got to worry about. Got fingers. Fingers. Number six. Number six. Ready? Is that six? It, I'm gonna trust going you. To number six. That one was number five. Granted, it should have been five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Oh. Okay, and so if I if I would be so bold <sighs> as to make a recommendation, something I didn't, I haven't done in the past, on no, the top shelf, that, that yellow one. Which one? There's a lot of yellow ones. This one. That Bumblebee? one. This. Bumblebee. This is. I know it's Bumblebee. It's probably right? It is Sunstreaker. Ah, oh, god damn it. But of course it's yellow, I think it's bubble. This I don't know transfer. This is one that I actually got like a within the past few weeks. This is Earthrise Sunstreaker. And got a lot of views on it. No, I haven't done a video on this before. Oh you haven't done a video? No! I haven't All right, then. done so a video on first anything. Time. First video. You are unless you've seen like Bolt Matrix or whoever the fuck. All those other guys that do. Yeah, all the other guys that do. This is what he looks like in his robot mode. It's very good. And, um... Also looks really... Ooh. This is... Bless my heart. Uh, he looks very transformable. Okay, so... Like, complex transform, but not, like, too crazy over the So, top. for those of you who are, um... Not... For those of you who aren't in, in, uh... So, oh my god, you guys that are not... Into, so into like, Transformers? Wait, you into Transformers. So, for those of you who are the Diaclone, this is the original, um... This is one of the first Transformers who was made into a Transformer. Back in the 80s. And... Really? Yeah. He's a Lamborghini! Yes, he's a Lamborghini. I can already tell just by looking at the nose of the car. He's already got that part. This transformed. this boy. I tell you right now, I'm a car salesman. This is a, and I I love cars. This and that is this is 100%. a car boy. A car boy, a, a car enthusiast. Yes, That's a Lamborghini Diablo. He is a car. Well, he's actually supposed to be a Lamborghini Countach in his original form, like back he in the eighties. Countach like looks more like a Diablo. Well, he's more of a Diablo. And I'll see it when it's finished. If I can finish it. <laughs> That's what she said. <laughs> Freeze cat. <laughs> that's, yes. gonna be, that's, that, that's your fucking... That's your thumbnail! <laughs> There's your thumbnail that's right your thumbnail. there, right? Ooh, yeah! Oh my... This figure... That's a thumbnail, just a... But, but seriously, this figure is so good. That is a Countach! No, it is, I see it now. No, just in the uh, the side windows and everything. It just that's a Countach. If I can line everything up oh, right. Oh, I love Lamborghini. I love Lamborghini. This is I'm talking to a guy about Sunstreaker. I don't know. Yeah, Sunstreaker that's... was always meant to be a Countach. And um... oh, but he's missing something though. What's he What's he missing? Okay, so. This is the figure. With Lamborghini Countach, one of the most quintessential models is the QV5000, or, or the 5000 QV. Um, that particular model of car came out in the later 80s, and it was a kind of like a legacy model, it was a special edition. It had a big wing that stood off the back, and it was kind of in a V shape. Was, now, to be fair... That's quintessential for a Lamborghini. This, the, the, the original Sunstreaker came out in 1984. So around the same time, okay. uh, actually a little bit before that particular but car actually hit the market. Does right. does this figure meet your um, 
approval as far as Lamborghini goes. Considering the Nacaduck shape on the side here, um, on both sides, and the actual fact that you have, um, if you actually, yeah, let me hold it real quick. Please. So right here, um, the Nacaducks on the side are to the point. The wheels, absolutely, 100%. And if you actually look at the front fascia of the vehicle itself, right here you see these two silver spots. That's where the flip lights would actually come up. But the reason why those silver lights sit down is because if you flash your high beams, it pops through there. So it still pops up on the flip up lights without having to put your lights up. And that's a quintessential countage. But does it, it, it does definitely meet my This is an awesome I just that, got this like really good. I just got yeah. this like a couple of weeks ago. This is an awesome figure. Yeah, and it goes together really well too. Yeah. Alright, so moving on to number a seven. Yeah. I'm letting you keep track of the numbers. Somebody's got to. Ugh. Somebody's got to. I mean, that could be the number of robots we're on, but it could also be the number of drinks I'm on. Hold on. I'm not 100% on two, either of those. Three, four, five, six. Uh, now we're on seven. We're on seven. We're on seven. Seven. I don't know why I like the color on this particular robot, but I also like the detail on it, too. It's green, it's purple, Okay. it's white. Okay. Um. Okay, this so is... So, before we put it on camera... This is going to take a while. This Ooh. is, Ooh. and I've talked about this on camera before, this is Titan's Return Six Shot. Now dun, Six dun, Shot, dun, 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 dun. Six Shot yeah. actually has the, his robot mode, and he has five alternate modes. I just fucked you, didn't I? You might have done. But we're gonna try our best to put this on camera. I'll right, take let's do it. I'll take out whatever needs to be taken out. What's this... weird is he's sobering up the more he puts these things together. So we'll see how this goes. We'll see how this goes. Because I only got a little bit of this particular whiskey left. But... Yeah. He's providing the whiskey as of after we got home, but mm -hmm. love this guy, by the way. Yeah, I do what I can. So he's this got is five modes? He's got well, including his robot mode. He's got six modes total. Jesus. So. So he's got five more modes in the mode than what I picked him up off the shelf with. So considering that That's he's dumb. he's from Titan's Return, he's got a headmaster. So his head is actually a little robot in and of himself. You can hold on to him if you want. So let's go with his tank mode first. I thought for the wings on his back it would be more of like an airplane mode, but apparently there's a tank mode too. There is a tank, a jet, a car, a winged wolf, and they say it's a boat or a submarine, but oh, it's God. it is a um, a gun mode from his. Also, his tiny head turns into a tiny person. Yes, that's that's how. Now, in the realm of Transformers, I'm presuming that this little tiny head turns into about the size of a human being, but yeah, pretty much has a tiny little head. There you go. So let's let's do the tank mode first. That's what she said. Is that what she said? No, tiny little head. That's what she said. I wasn't going on tank mode first. <laughs> oh, okay. I'll take your word for it. Okay. I'm presuming that's the head transformed. Yeah, that's the head transformed. That was not hard. Hey, look, I can transform. The but in like any other mode, he's like a tiny dude who can go into the modes. So it's like a tiny robot that has control of like a larger robot exoskeleton and can transform it into different modes depending on the situation that this tiny little robot is in. In the context of Titan's Return, yes. Interesting. So this is the tank mode, as far as I can make it. That's a real large gun for a tank! That's more like a rocket launcher, if anything. I mean, these little guns can attach to the outside. Added firepower at that Added point. Added firepower. I mean, just, why not? Okay, so that's the tank mode. Then... 
Is it like a linear progression as you transform the actual toy itself that you go from one mode to another, or is it like some weird com miscombobulated Cirque du Soleil act to get from one mode to another? Well, yes, but actually no. So it's more of just a... You'd have to know what the modes are in order to be able to get to I them. I do not. Never mind. I'm gonna put his this man here. is completely clueless when it comes to Transformers. I know a lot about whiskey, heavy metal, and cars. And but... he's just on this channel as a side effect of me being drunk. A side effect of him living in my house. Oh, yeah. That, that too. Welcome to Florida. Welcome to Florida. Oh, so that's like the face of the actual vehicle itself that you're actually forming right now, right? So it looks like a wood. I can also see why they were talking about a submarine, because it's got that same kind of like conical shape to it. No, no, these should be part of it. So it's coming off? They fold? No, nothing comes off. It shouldn't. Nothing should come off. Note to all the children watching this video, it shouldn't come off. If it does, we're sorry. That is all. Please do not take what Captain Floofers does in context of what should actually be. Please, do not try this at home. Do, do Mainly not. Mainly the alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> that actually, should be implied. Here's the thing. If you were to try it, please try it at home. <laughs> So you're not out in public or driving or possibly getting into an accident, hurting somebody or hurting other people. Eh, just get drunk at home. Honestly, it, it's just as much fun. Look, I can play with your toys, play your video games. It, it's all good. I'm gonna be honest with you. I can't take. Have I defeated him? Yes. I can't make heads or tails of this to make. I the defeated jet mode. you. Yes. Now, if you want a more proper representation of what this should be, watch um, Shot Bots and Mavericks. Mm -hmm. The That's one where I play Mega Man X8 in between. Oh, you actually got it through all the transformation modes and everything? Yes, but I... His brain's kerfuffled. I cannot. I cannot with this. I win. But, if you're considering Transformers figures... Titan's Return uh, Six Shot is definitely a one to get. It's complicated as hell. And the one thing I do actually like about that particular toy is just the level of detail that goes into it. Because even just looking at it, there's a reason why I picked my interest off the shelf is because the first time I saw it, one, the color is great, and two, just looking at the level of detail that it's in, the, just the paneling and the rivets and everything that's on the actual toy itself is just really well done. I will at least say I was able to get really one alt well. mode out of it. I got one. Out of five. <laughs> Technically, he got two, but that's only because how. But how I handed all it six me. have been on camera at some point. But you know, watch my old videos for that. All right, going on to number eight. You're the one keeping number track. Eight. Oh, eight. All right, let's do it. So we're gonna go up. Considering the last one. Really put you through a ringer. I think I might grab the other big one up here. Um, oh god damn it! No, don't pick Bruticus. Don't pick no Bruticus. No more combiners. No more combiners. I'm gonna go with this one. I don't know why. I like his wings. That his is guns. okay. I don't it's know. Nice if... one. It's a good one. That's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Like? I don't know if I've done this on on camera before or not. This is Power of the Prime Sludge. This is one of the Dinobots. His alt mode really? is a dinosaur. Okay. And this is my favorite of the Dinobots. Who knew? So you done good. There we go. So this is his alt mode. He's pretty good with little wings and whatnot. But he turns into a Brontosaurus, believe it or not. How? I will show you how, my friend. I hope he does, because that doesn't look like he can turn into a Brontosaurus. Let's take a look. How uh, all right. So, are I'll you let ready? You guys watch. Are you I'll ready let you for guys this shit? Watch out there. You and, ready uh, for this shit? Out. Okay. So. Oh, that's a no. We'll see that's if clever. That is clever. Okay. 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 This is my favorite of the Power of the Prime Dinobots. 
And I have all of them. Wait, wait. Oh, that's a good noise. That's a wonderful noise. <laughs> it's okay, I got more whiskey in the rest of the house. I hope he's not. Take him around somewhere. Yes, that's one of Wow, I've been trying to kill this bottle for quite some time. Well, you now have an excuse. Because it goes really well with Coke. It goes Holy crap. It goes well, really, really well with Dinobots, Coke. I guess. Apparently it goes really good with Transformers. So, I mean, like, $45 yeah. a bottle? I don't know if it's a great mixer whiskey, but... And I'm fairly sure I've talked about oh. Sludge on my Killer. previous video. But, still, this is my favorite of the Dinobots, or Bar 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 the Primes Dinobots characters. If I can get to line up properly. God fucking damn it. That way, you know. Shit happens. Shit happens. Something about I'm walking here, I'm walking here, and just, I just don't know I'm walking. I'm walking here. That's, that's... If I had something in front of me to slap while throwing on my thickest New York accent, I'd do it. I'd do it. I'd do it all day. I'm walking here. I'm walking here. Hey, Power of the Prime, prime Sludge. Yeah. Walk in here. Hey, Sigan. I'm walking here. Cat. Just keep that in. <laughs> yeah. If not, bleep her real. I feel like this video is kind of one of those videos, and this should actually be kept in the video. This is the, one of those videos that just, it needs a blooper reel. So like a three minute long, just like blooper reel was, what's that one song? Meatball Parade, playing in the background. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, so I don't know if I just have the upper arm strength to put this in place, but yeah, let me see. This is sludge. So, oh god. Normally, I, I don't have... think it's a level of upper arm strength. I think it's just a level of fitment. No, it, it normally does fit well in the place. It normally does. No, hold on, hold on, hold on. Give me, give me, give it to me. Oh, he's found the angle. I think found I found angle. what's wrong. That's what she said. She probably edited out all of that's what she said. It's not necessarily family friendly. Then again, it's a drunk video. <laughs> okay, yeah. Okay, I see what it did. But wrong. that's where you edit in the actual song. <laughs> <laughs> so like cut out that like last 15 seconds. I'll find out but some you way start to singing, and then you edit in the song. It'd be fucking great. I'll find out some way to put that in there. Okay, I got it. This. So you got it. Yes, I He's got, got it. it, ladies I, and gentlemen. This you figured it out. Is Power of the Prime Sludge in robot mode, and it's not just my favorite. It's not robot mode. That's. Alt mode. mode. Alt mode. Dinosaur, or alt mode. Whatever they call it. Isn't that awesome? It's That's a... actually really well detailed. Yeah. I get it. It's just like a lot of the ones that you have and on your shelf. It's just the reason I'm picking them up is because I'm picking them up because like if you look They're at just here, there. Let's go up here. You look at the panels right here. You look at all the stickers that are on it. And I mean, yes, there's stickers. You can many, of, many of the it's stickers. It's not painted on. But okay. the detail is there because like even you go in down here. Ian doesn't Look know. Look into the paneling right here. Ian it doesn't just, know. I built models and stuff before. Many of the you know, stickers. Into that, many just, of the stickers are third-party stickers. Really. That I bought separately and put on there. Hmm. But um, sludge. That's an extra little bit of. It's just sad. Yeah, it's just there the way that he transforms, the way that he comes together. Sludge is my favorite. Diamond by this is, and it's not just the fact that I just happen to pay more than the other Dinobots in this line. Could it be? No, I mean, I even went so over this... you for it? No, I mean, even past that, this is my favorite Dinobot. There it is. Just the way it comes together. And it's, it's fantastic. And then it brings us... to number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. Here we go! Number nine. Um, I don't know, I'm thinking something red. A lot of them off here that are red. I can see a, really I can see a red one that you can really pick. I can see a red one that you can pick that I haven't done in a video before, and that's Cliff Jumper. 
That's Warpath. That's Warpath. That's Warpath. Is that good? No. That's Warpath. Too. No, that's... Uh -huh. Actually, the first one you pointed <laughs> to is Iron Hide. And you messed that one up. That wasn't me. Truth Ladies be told, and gentlemen. Okay, pick Iron Hide. I haven't done Iron Hide before. This is Iron Hide. Da, 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 da. This is Iron Hide. This is Siege. Warfare Cybertron Siege Iron Hide. I have not done Iron Hide before. Apparently, it's actually Warpath. No, it's not. It's not Warpath. It's Mr. Iron Hide. Severe. He's lying to you. It's Warpath. No, it's Iron Hide. It is That's Iron Hide. It is Iron Hide. I don't know that. But he does. So Iron Hide. Trust what he says on that. Iron Hide has been around since season one. That I do know, because that's one of those transforming things that you say, Ironhide, I know who Ironhide is. Yeah, he's, roughly. he turns... Roughly. What does he turn into? A tank. No. That's that's Warpath. That's Warpath. God. Ironhide Darn turns, it. turns into a panel van. With a gun on top? With Siege Ironhide, yes. He turns so it turns oh, into man. a Come on, Prime. So I mean, liquid so, nitrogen. Siege Warpath turns into a Baghdadi technical special, which is a van with a rocket launcher on top. Of we it. will but, see. So, so we'll see if he can actually get it done. I don't time. think I've actually covered this on. Uh, We've gotten to it now. The last one he actually got done. I might now, have. There's done. a couple of them he might have. Altered on a little bit, but you know that's what happens when you get too you, much whiskey in your system. You so, tear in. I mean, you could see me try transform these all day long. No, I can't. And you're gonna skip I these can't. videos and go to somebody else who actually knows how to transform them. You dare underestimate like Captain me? Captain Floofer's videos. You, but do you well, underestimate me? It's not so much a question of underestimating. It's a question of are you still capable? We will see. We will see. Oh, we're definitely sending this video to Greg. It's gonna lose his No, I'm watching. sending this video to the internet. Yeah, no, Greg's gonna see this video. For Greg's gonna see this shit. video. He's gonna lose his shit. <laughs> Soiling Greg, friend of the channel. Yeah. You know the one. The one. Deadly Premonition. I know that one. Well, granted, more as much than as deadly... I watch my own brother's videos, I mean, it's kind of a shame. But still. Yeah, no, that guy. I don't know who, how I should that feel guy. about you. Just your your expertise on my channel is just deadly premonition. I don't know how I should feel about that. Your series on deadly premonition was awesome. I mean, yes. And Oracle of Seasons is going great. So, thank you. He hasn't watched Oracle of Seasons at all. I just told him about that at the bar. Mm -mm. I feel like that should be edited in. Like, every transforming scene <laughs> should be sped up with Meatball Parade playing. <laughs> Credits to Cal uh, Kevin McLeod. Yes, Kevin McLeod made Meatball Parade. It's probably one of the funniest songs ever made by mankind, so I guess it's bad. It really is. It really is. It just, like, personifies everything. It personifies our internet the today. The stupidness of 3.30 in the morning. Is it, is it 3.30 is it um, in the morning? Check that time. It is 3.46 in the morning. Look, ladies and gentlemen, this is hell what, for a show. This is what happens We've been when, waiting for almost an hour. This is what happens when this guy and this guy don't have to work in the morning. Bingo. That's the thing. That's why we need to make more videos together. We do. And considering that you're living with me now, we can actually do that. We can. We can. And we will. We have the technology. I mean... We have the drive. I can't guarantee We you. have the game consoles with multiple controllers on top of that to do so. All right. This is Ironhide. Siege Ironhide. Hold on. Where's this gun? We can put this on top here. Also known as an Iraqi Special Technical. This is um, Siege Ironhide in his uh, alt mode. 
And um, I don't it's know. An Afghani Conaline van with a rocket launcher. On top. Honestly, awesome. I love it. It's I don't. Awesome. I don't know if I. I don't For remember. For all your military guys out there, you know what a technical is. I don't remember if I've ever um, done an Ironhide video on here or a Siege Ironhide video. This is so. Um, the detail on it's really good. And that's the one thing that just take a take a look. Hold on. It is so satisfying to transform. This is oh, no. one of the better. Oh my god, the detail on the wheel is fucking phenomenal. That's part I'm of. Sorry, like bless my language, but you could just see even in the just in the wheel itself and down to the tire, you got the tread on it as well. Yeah, that's that's. So, I mean, if you actually like, pull it up straight to the camera right there, you can actually. This see is it. a great that's figure. It's a really fantastic nice. figure. If you don't have Ironhide or even Ratchet, Ratchet's based off the same mold. Is it from the same generation? Or the same series? Siege, yeah. Yeah, and actually, even just the just the detail on the gun. I am, the whole thing is, is, you pull this up. Let me put it up now, close to the camera Now, see, here right the thing here. is. Here you can see inside where all that. the little different ruts are. Give me you that. You can see all the different cage work. You can see the pipes and everything now, working. Now, this is it like... Just, that's really well. This is the rocket really launcher well. mode. But if you do this, it's a hammer. And he can wield that in robot mode. There you go. Oh, detail on this one is phenomenal. That's a this That's is phenomenal. Ironhide, Siege Ironhide, great figure. Pick it up if you haven't. It's great. Pick it up. You make me sound like Steven Seagal. No, that was Donald Trump. Actually, it was a stretch. I tried. Oh, I oh, tried. Donald Trump. Okay. Yeah. It's great. It's perfect. You love it. Pick it up. It's huge. It's huge. All right, we're working on a number 10! Yes, this is the last one. The last one of the night. They probably annoy the neighbors with that one, but they can send it. My apologies um, to the neighbors. I'm, yeah, so, so, sorry. I'm so sorry. What should I, I was trying to point him toward I Cliff do? Jumper before, but yeah. I don't think that. I don't like this one. Oh, that is one I have I have mentioned before, but it is a never been on video. It has been on video, but it is a damn good figure. So let's okay. talk. Let's talk okay. about it, shall okay. we? This, okay, in its current form, is Power of the Primes Punch. Power of the Primes Punch. Power of the Primes is the is the line it came off of. This is Punch. Okay. So I've never heard of Punch. So the I'm thing thinking is, he's a car. He is a car. It's like a high performance car. So here's the thing. If you think Triple Changer, what do you think of? Triple Changer, something that can change into three different forms. Yes. Okay. Um, from there, what do you think of? Like one one a robot? robot form, a car form, and then a secondary form that usually combines with something else. Not necessarily combining. Okay, so I, I do have triple form like triple I'm also changers thinking like Macross. Um Okay, so you're thinking Macross. Okay. So I do have some triple changer figures like some things that you didn't pick, like Blitzwing okay. has a robot form, a tank form, and a jet form. Astro Train has a robot form, a shuttle form, and a train form. Okay. Punch actually has two robot forms and an alt mode. Okay, so this is Punch. You've seen him on camera if you've followed my channel up to this point. So, the thing that said he is a so triple changer. So it's in one robot form now, whereas the other one. That's the big question that I have. The thing is, this, the big question. this, this boy has exactly. two robot forms. Is one like a gear walk, like Robotech? No. Robot form? Okay, okay. so Punch's um, backstory is that he's a double agent. He uh, mostly works for the Autobots, but he has a robot form with the Decepticons. Hmm. So let's transform. So this is robot mode for, 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 for Punch. Is that now? Is that the Autobots robot form? Is this that, is the that, Autobots. You can see the Autobot. Okay. So okay. See the Autobot. So yeah, Autobot. So let's change him into his Decepticon form. And it's really easy. All you got to do is flip the flip the visor. Flip the visor. Out. Hold on to this real quick. Okay. And you just got to basically put him backwards and change his. So we change his color. 
And this... So you can flip this down. Flip this up. Oh, Give me that gum back. There you go. For this. Well, actually, I gotta change his hands out, too. Yeah, change the color of the hands. This is Counterpunch. His Decepticon, Decepticon form. form. Okay, hence the name. This is one of the coolest concepts. And that's why I got this figure in the first place. Because they made, they actually like made a, a modern figure of Punch Counterpunch. But this is Counterpunch. This is his Decepticon form. And he does have a car form that's basically shared. Really? Yeah. Between his alt modes, so... So literally, it's just kind of the same transformation from alt mode versus robot mode. Or, okay, so... Robot Decepticon versus Robot Autobot. Autobot, yeah. It's the same easy transformation back into alt mode. Yeah, they, they, they share an alt okay. mode. And it's like the cool... I, I think it's just like the coolest. Um, I like the wheels on it too. Yeah. I do actually like that wheel design. It kind of reminds me of one side I want to put on my car. But... Quote, quote the, um, quote Terry Nervar. Okay. 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 <laughs> okay. <laughs> Ter okay. It's quote Terry Nervar 2020. Yeah. Quote the Talon. Please, sir, I want the, some more. Please, sir, I want some more. <laughs> oh, whiskey. Oh, no, 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 no. The, hold on, hold on. I, I did this the wrong way. That was my fault, because I'm drunk. Well, you know, it happens. It happens. Oh, okay, so it wraps up, okay. And All it's right. supposed to be a Mitsubishi something, something, something. Hold on, let me look at it. Oh, let me put that. oh I know exactly what that's supposed to be. Uh, Ian's the car guy, by the by. Occasionally, you know. Occasionally. Um, It looks like it is the concept for the new Mitsubishi 3000 GT. Now they showed that off a couple of years ago. Uh, it's a car from the 90s with Diamond Star Motors, um, which is Chrysler and Mitsubishi. All at the same time, they made a bunch of cars to the US market. 3000 GT was both in the uh, Japanese and American market, but from what it looks like, if it is a copy of a 3000, it's a 3000 GT. Yeah. It's the 2016, all the car guys that are watching this, just send it down in the comments. We'll figure out which one it is. But if it's I get the, into uh, the comments. It's the, con it's the concept car that they did a couple of years ago uh, to try to bring the 3000 GT back because they brought the Super back, they brought the NSX back. Um, Boss is even working on an RX. But what you what you think about this toy? I like it. Yeah. Most I like of the this, wheels, I like the look, I like the way it fits together. Most, um, the, most of the carbon fiber stuff is is uh, aftermarket, you know, aftermarket really? stuff. Okay, yeah. so it's just decals that you put on aftermarket. Yeah. I like the way it looks. But this like is this is one of my favorite um, figures, honestly. This is the reason I got it. I thought Punch Counter Punch was a, an awesome idea. And when they came out with a Power of the Primes version, I had to get it. You know, just kind it's of perfect send off. Kind of the reverse of the triple changer, like one robot mode, two alt modes. Now you got two robot modes, one alt mode. And it looks really good in its alt mode. And the easy thing is, is if you want it in Decepticon mode or if you want it in Autobot mode for the robot version, it's just an easy, easy, simple change. Exactly. All you gotta do is just a couple things to it, and boom, now you got the Decepticon mode. If you're a Decepticon guy, or you've got your Autobot mode. If you're an Autobot guy. Yeah. I don't know, because I'm not... He's, he's just Autobot picking the shit hand. off off the off my fucking I do shelf. It. Yeah. I don't know. I just kind of saw it back in the corner, and it's just like, I like the colors on it, I like the way the wheels look. Let's give it a shot. And actually, even in transform mode, it is right in car mode. Looks great. Yeah. I mean, just... Looks awesome. Yeah. So that was number 10, right? That was number 10. That was number 10. So... 
That was it. that was ten shots, ten bots without the shots, and I'm already drunk. And um, well, it's yeah. ten shots before the bots, but you know, you know, <laughs> it's whatever we did before we did the vidya. And um, thank you, my brother Talanervar, Talanervar, my literal brother, Talanervar. Brother. Yeah, literal. for for being on this video with me. And uh, this was a lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. A lot of fun. We should do this more often. We should. And, um, yeah, even if it was a bunch of uh, bots that I've already shown off on the channel, I'm drunk, so I didn't really know the difference. Exactly. So, yeah, um, this has been, um, I don't know what I'm going to call this video, but I'm, I'm fairly sure I'll come up with something witty. The cat is... Drunken a Robots. Drunken robots, I'm already, you know, the cat is, is climbing Literally on the computer. Literally on top of the computer. Give me one second. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We gotta stop that from happening, so... Meow! Sorry, cat. Sorry, Sigan. Got it. But, um... Un until the next time we meet, I have been Captain Floofers, and this has and been... I'm, uh, Talon Nervar. And we will be here next time. Join, Join us, us, won't you? you?